Hello, Fro Bros and Curl Girls, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Calibrated Gamer. Today, we are going deeper within Dead Space to see if we can't help the crew of the Ishimura, or at least us that are still alive. Oh, look at that guy. <laughs> can, you, can you see him? He's just saying, he's, he's waiting for his cue, is what he's waiting on. He didn't expect me to slowly enter the room and look around, but I did. So I'm just kind of watching him at this point. Oh, this must be the cryogenic chamber. Yes, the cryogenic lab. I'll probably end up having to use the cryogenic lab to help me with monsters. Maybe I can stop the regeneration monster in here. Perhaps not. Maybe not. The work I have done must continue. Will continue. Uh, maybe I should. I, Dr. Charles Mercer, shall serve as the catalyst to the salvation of our species. And I. These Isaac Clark, kick your ass. I will spread their divine glory across the entire planet. Shut up. I will leave you with my creation. Embrace the inevitable. Wait, wait, what? Alright, I saw it coming. Whoop! Uh, why has it got to be more than one? Why can't I ever just have a battle where it's just one necromorph just hanging out? Uh, I saw that coming. Move out of my way. Luckily, I know. Hey! Baby's on the walls. That's not fair. Reload. Thank you. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. I'm aware. Alright, don't hurt me, bro. Don't hurt me, bro. I know I know the I know the quick key for the health now. Which is super useful. Ooh. Figure that out in like the last. Oh, that okay. That was kind of unfair. I think I figured that out in the last episode or something. One well, episode before that. Ah, shoot. I'm about to need it. I'm about to need it bad. All right, keep moving. Uh, turn around and fire. Uh, 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 uh. Stasis. Stasis. Thank you. I can't afford. I can't afford to die. I need to win this time. Ah, damn it. Come on. Oh, wait. That guy's still around, and he's on stasis now. Stasis! Only because it's all you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh. Alright. Well, obviously... You are going to be more trouble to deal with, seeing as how you're technically invis invincible. Not invisible. I definitely see you walking towards me. Ah! Oh, that would have been my death. Let me go ahead and, uh, I don't want to use my health. Ah, damn it. Come on. Come on, get, get off that arm. Come on. Come on, lose the arm. And yeah, I, I caught him in regeneration phase. Can I, can I trap him in here, possibly? I'm sure I can. You know what? Come on. Come on. Uh, stasis. Okay. And then... Come on. Uh, uh, some sort of control panel. Yes! Oh my gosh! Is that it? Did I do it? Did I figure out a thing? Oh my gosh, yes. Yes! Uh, I saw it, I knew it, I counted on it, and I came through. Let's just hope that's the last we see of that thing. Yeah. I've managed to override Mercer's lockdown. There's a secondary tram station nearby, and you can take it to oh hydroponics. My gosh. Let's just hope there's enough time. Jeez Louise, can I reload you? No, I've got nothing left. Alright. Stasis recharge. Let me check my health. Just to show you that I do know the hotkey, and just so I can test it out, I'm running. Oh no, a monster chasing me! Boop! Oh yeah, that is so much more efficient. That is way more efficient. That is ridiculously efficient. Alright, so I figured out a few things. I stopped that terrible regenerating monster. My hair is an absolute positive mess, and I am moving deeper into dead space. I didn't die that time, so y'all can cheer me on about that. Also, I'm a little leery of this hallway, but I'm going to charge. So 
tram station, which is good. It's quiet, which is bad. Mm -hmm. I want to see what you are. Can I open you? How come the how come the boxes that aren't really meant to be open can be open, but this suitcase cannot? This suitcase is imperfect. Mm. Yeah, I don't like you. I like how the suitcase doesn't have a lighting system on it, then I can't break it. But as long as it has a lighting system on it, like a, you know, just a glow to it, then of course I can break it. Awesome! New chapter completed? Yes, chapter 5, Lethal Devotion completed. Now we're moving on to chapter 6, which is... After I save, apparently. I'll save there. Boop. Chapter 6. Environmental hazard. Use kinesis to move or throw objects. Thank you, game. Kind of late in the game to give me that tip, but I do appreciate it nonetheless. I don't like getting off the tram because I know one of these times they're going to choose it as the ideal opportunity to um, kill me dead a thousand Hi, times Dr. over. Elizabeth Cross reporting. I'm pleased to say that we're working close to maximum capacity at the present time. All flora is healthy and thriving, and food yield has created a surplus. I was going to pass the surplus on to the colony, but the captain has given a no-fly order. I want to note my opposition to that order. Everyone knows they're in trouble down there, and I don't see what denying them our surplus will achieve. <laughs> what is this, a bathroom? <laughs> yeah. Let's see, that's women's, and that's death, <laughs> so we're going this way. Why is there so much death in here? I want that. Ew. <laughs> I thought you were an item, not a full toilet. I do apologize for the miscommunication on my part. Alright, well, at least I can replenish you, hopefully, to 75. Shut up! I hear a whispering on my end. Shut up! I don't want to make this corner. Get off of me! Get off of me! Oh, I need to get out. I knew I heard moving around. Where are you? I know you're in this room. I don't want to, like, throw out my ripper unless I know exactly where you are. Ah. Nah. Just a waste of health is all you are. Alright. Come back out here. Safe? Safety? I don't like that. Let's see. We got some health. We got some plasma. We got some rippers. We've got stasis when we need it. And we have air. We also have some inventory space, and lots of credits. I think we're doing good right now. Mm, define good. That's all I have to say to that, Caleb. What do you have in retort, sir? Well, Caleb, I say, screw you, buddy. All right, I'm doing the best with what I got. And what I got is severe handsomeness and a terrible, terrible gaming ability. <laughs> severe handsomeness. All right. Taking another cargo lift. Preparing to fire weapon. No, 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 no. What did I tell you? Gosh, I gotta stop setting my alarms within the time that I'm recording. Oh, tomatoes. This must be a safe place. <laughs> that made me jump way more than I like. <laughs> oh, shut up. Watering cycle. What a douchebag sound effect for a watering cycle. And not only did I jump back, but I was in the process of trying to scoot my chair forward. So I like, I was already sitting up. So I like jumped way too hard. All right. Oh, well you're not dead. Is that a bad thing or a good thing? Sir. Sir, please come with me. Whoa, whoa. Oh my gosh, it's Hammond. Good to see you in one piece. There's run. I gotta look at it. <coughs> it's huge. Uh-huh. 
Yeah. Shed itself in food storage. Mm hmm. Yeah. Crew that was on this deck. Uh huh. I think they're what's poisoning the air. Really? They've been transformed. Uh huh. I saw one of them. Okay. Bloated. Swollen. Yeah. The poison factories. We need to take him out, but we can still breathe. Hammond! I thought you were dead. <laughs> you need to get to cleaner air. You're not going to be able to help Isaac in your condition. Exactly! Isaac... Helping me is top priority. Now. He's right. There's something really big in food storage. But I can't get a good scan. Monitor readings are off the scale. Be careful. Thanks. Hey man, how about instead of yakking, 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 you hold your breath, you dingbat, and let me take care of it. Because you obviously can't do anything for me. Also, air purity is fine, but, I mean, my air tank is, like, limited, so do I have a, some sort of filter? Storage, but I can't override the integrity lockdown. You have to destroy the pods to bring the air quality up. Then you can go through and use the poison on the Leviathan. Peachy. Ooh, store and locker. Also, terrifying noises in the background. That's all fine and dandy. Let's check the store. I'm sure there's something I'll need to buy. Possibly. And I also brought back that. Hmm, I could buy the contact beam. I don't know if I need a new weapon at the moment. I mean, I could always, I could always use a new weapon, I suppose. I don't know if the content beam's good, and I don't really have all the time in the world to test it out, unfortunately. I already used the health that was in my safe. Hmm. I think we're all good right now. I mean, sure, there's stuff I could buy, and stuff I probably should buy. But all in all, I mean, I think we're doing alright. I need to go that way. I mean, I guess this leads into the same room. Let me, uh, just kind of... Alright. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, you close that. Text log. Elizabeth, no doubt you'll... Uh, I can do better than that. <clears throat> Elizabeth, no doubt you're aware of the organic growth found in some parts of the ship. I've been examining the substance and thought the results would interest you. The cells would closely resemble bacteria with viral behavior. Like bacteria, the organism affects enough ce other cells through osmosis, then mutates and reproduces agamonum genomectomy. What's amazing is the speed at which it grows. A single bacterium reproduces 20-fold in just one minute. I've never seen anything like it. I won't shake my reputation at it, or on it, or even in it. But I think this may be a genuine alien life form. Professor Harley theorizes that it's a habitat transformer. The levels of gaseous output are tremendous, which is why it smells so bad, and why we're all dying. But to what end, we simply don't know. I'll keep you posted. Unless, of course, I die. Hmm. Oh, a save station. <laughs> uh, I got kind of slacking. Usually save stations are my first thing to see. My first little go-to. But uh, obviously I didn't see that one, so... Whoops. This is obviously my little hub area right now as I go through this area of the ship. And then, of course, you know, I'll come back in here, it'll be death, and then I'll move forward, beat the monster, I'll go back to the tram, and then I'll move to a different area. Because, of course, that is how this game works, typically. I suppose I should be glad that Ham's alive, but I still don't trust him. I think he's hiding something about the marker. Girl, let it go. Ah, damn it. Ah! I usually have explosive barrels to deal with you, so... I have no idea what just attacked me. Ew. You're still attacking? Ah, oh, come on! I kind of, in my mind, I was like, well, I'm not going the right way. Maybe I should back out. And then, so I was like, not attacking the monster, but I should have been. You know, let's, let's, let's go this way. Why not? I mean, this is where we're supposed to go. If nothing else, I can backtrack and go that way. Although I'm pretty sure that they're both the entrance of the same area. It's just like a loop. Yeah. 
Does that, does that hurt me? I imagine it does. Do I... Yep. The blinking, the timer, it's all signs of death if it hits me. Alright, let's see. Can't open you, can't open you. Anything else of use in here? No! It's just a glorified hiding spot. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, a bench. That's actually useful. Nothing else, though. Let's see, do we have anything for the bench? I don't even remember. Primarily, it's been a while. Alright, one node. That's good. Hmm, I could upgrade air. I could keep working on my plasma cutter, although I don't... I use it less and less now. I could upgrade one of these so that my ripper will be better in the future. Or my pulse rifle. Could upgrade the range on my kinesis, or I could work on stasis because it is so useful later. I mean, it's useful now. Hmm. I am going to up. Mm. Well, let's see. I got. I could do kinesis now. I could do air now. I could do capacity now. Let's focus on what can help me now. Uh, I'll, I'll focus on, like, what can help me in the future once I get, like, more nodes at a time. Which I know if I say that every time, I'll never reach that point. But, at the same time, I, I, I need a spot to hold my plasma energy, so... Yeah. What are you? Plasma? What are you? Ripper! All right, you know what? I haven't used the plasma in a while. Let's let's switch. Let's get on the cargo lift. And let's kick some alien tush. I need to remember to sit, like to keep sitting up. I don't know why I keep wanting to slide. All right, All right come on. Oh what? What? I, I know you're not dead, dude. Come on. Not that dumb. Now you're dead. Just in case. One. One necromorph. One necromorph waiting on a very long p bridge. I don't know what word I was trying to say. Also, that reload time though. Uh, this is obviously a run and dash kind of situation. Ugh. I hate these situations. Where are you? I hear you. Okay, grab the plasma and run. And of course, all the birds that aren't existent, that they aren't even here. Dead comments. Reload time's fast, it's not that fast. I had to make sure there was no one behind me. Get this. Come on. Come on. All right. Come on. Uh, uh, wrong button. Get moving. Awesome. Yes. All right. Where are you, douchebags? I didn't want to use it for just you, but. Oh. Come on. Oh, I see you behind me. Uh, the explosive barrels are back there, though. Get reloaded! Come on. I don't have any- I don't think I have any more health. And even if I do, I, I don't need to use it. Oh, man! Uh, reload. Thank you. That guy is like, look at it! He wants me dead, and he wants me dead bad. Items, 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 items. Reload. Is that it? Is that everything? I hear... Demonic breathing. Which I imagine is the necromorph that I'm trying to kill that is polluting the air. Most likely what he's doing is he's taking in the oxygen and he's just like... Spitting out, you know, whatever is causing all... Not what's causing all this. It. They called it a... 
Oh man, what they called it, a... I want to call it a placemaker, it's not a placemaker, that's way too, you know, basic. It was called a... I... you know what, I don't... I don't care. <laughs> I don't care what it was called. The point is, is that I kicked those monsters' tails without needing to die and restart again. I'm actually doing a little better as far as that's concerned, so that's good. If you're hearing, hearing jingling in the background, it's my, not my dog, my aunt's dog, Heidi. Okay, that's kind of, that's kind of disturbing. That's kind of gross. Sorry, I don't like you. But um, if, you, if you hear any jingling in the background, that is my aunt's dog, Heidi. Um, I mentioned it earlier in a paranoiac episode. Should have been posted before this. But um, I'm watching my dog. I'm watching two dogs, Heidi and um, gosh, Heidi and Lucy, here, and they're both very sweet dogs. Unfortunately, Heidi has a Heidi has a terrible habit of pacing when she enters a room. It's actually not only extremely annoying; it's actually very stressful. Hi. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> I was like, um, explosive barrel to the face didn't work. I was like, are you about to like battle the hell out of me? But no. I'm. Nah. It's in my headphones, but I can't tell where the location is. Oh crap. We we are way over time anyway. Where are you? Alright, well, I'm gonna have to cut the episode here anyway. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've been enjoying. Uh, and if you have, please like and comment down below. It helps tremendously, yes. And of course, if you'd like to stay calibrated, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more episodes in the near future. Anyway, until then, thanks for watching. And as always, stay calibrated. That was kind of loud, I'm sorry. I got, I got stressed. Bye.